Tbilisi city, a former British colony, is filled with buildings with colonial character. These buildings are imbued with stories, but many of them have fallen into disrepair. A House of Culture rejuvenation project initiated by the government of Belize with the concept of eco-museum brought by the Taiwanese CDF and aimed at preserving the city's historical culture and boosting its tourism development is currently being implemented. Through this project, various historical street sites are linked to form a single tourist attraction, giving the downtown of Belize City new life. Located at the estuary of Belize River, Belize City was the metropolis of British colonial government. Following the country's independence, the city became the capital of Belize and its political, economic, and cultural center. However, after being hit by several hurricanes, the Belize government decided to relocate its capital further inland to Belmopan. So that, that has had a significant impact, but Belize City still retains its uh, character. Although Belize City still serves as the country's primary port for Caribbean cruise ships, most tourists set off to explore the offshore islands or other cities, therefore bringing few economic benefits to the city. To attract more visitors to explore downtown Belize, the Taiwan ICDF and the government of Belize reorganized the rationale and finalized the Belize City House of Culture and Downtown Rejuvenation Project, which is expected to enhance the image of Belize City through the renovation of the historical buildings and promote awareness and appreciation of colonial heritage and cultural identity of local citizens. It will create undoubtedly a significant amount of renovated attractions for people to see. It also raises public awareness about the importance of our colonial heritage. To map out this project, the Taiwan ICDF invited an expert team led by Dr. John K. C. Liu to hold participatory workshops on planning and designing the Eco Museum Blueprint in Belize City. As a former British colony, the city features Victorian architecture from the British colonial era, but these wooden buildings have deteriorated with the passage of time. But as time has gone by, the buildings uh, deteriorated and also some of the knowledge about what has happened in that area uh, has gone away. Core to the project is the rejuvenation of Belize City's historical downtown through an eco-museum development concept. The project will convert a number of historical structures in the downtown area into demonstration sites that will showcase the country's art, music, and food culture. By connecting these sites, the entire downtown of the old capital will be transformed into an urban heritage eco-museum. Built in 1814, the House of Culture was the governor's residence during the colonial era. The building was renamed House of Culture and opened to the public in 1998. As part of the project's plan, the House of Culture, an important historical and political landmark, will become a museum of the history of colonial Belize after renovation. The fact that it has been turned into a museum to highlight everything Belizean will also add to its cultural value to the nation of Belize. Aside from the refurbishment of the House of Culture, the project also includes the restoration of surrounding facilities and the construction of a new building so as to enrich the contents of the exhibition. After that, we're going to look at rehabilitating the carriage house and we're looking at different programs for that and possibly a cafeteria that would really welcome people to walk into the courtyard area and then engage further. Following the installation of the hardware components, the project is set to introduce art and cultural activities so that more people can learn about Belize culture. Our plan is to have um, artisans in there and they'll be able to see then um, some of Belizean culture for, as they go from house to house. Brookdown is a very popular Creole style of music in Belize. The melody features the use of keyboard, bass guitar and drums. 
Um, the, the project that we did, with, which was the Brockton project, was to basically get more people, especially younger people, connected to, to their culture and, uh, and teach them the dance and the singing and the drumming and so that there is a preservation of, of, of this culture. By the end of the project, not only will Belize City have gained an additional tourist attraction, but Belizeans will also have an increased awareness and appreciation of their cultural identity. I, I do expect that it will certainly uh, contribute tremendously to the aesthetic value of downtown Belize City. And I think that that's something that we're learning and we're recognizing in Belize, not only for economic reasons, not only for attracting tourism, but for our own introspection and appreciating the worth of the Belizean person and our cultural expression.